I study the culture of Victorian Britain and my emphasis is on the relationship between literature and social movements, imperialism, and capitalism. My research questions are animated by my interest in and my awareness of the problems of the present because I believe that these issues that animate our political discourse in the present have their histories and their ground in that 19th century. In so many ways, I think we live in a world whose infrastructure is Victorian. The book that I recently wrote called Corporate Character looks at the East India Company and the role that it played in the conquering and then governance of British India. And I study the culture of administration that arose within that company. Towards the end of the book, I do make arguments that you know, though there's not a one-to-one -one homology between, say, the East India Company and Halliburton, there is something that we can learn about the operation of multinational corporations in the 21st century by studying how this one operated and defined terms in the 19th. I'm not suggesting that by, I don't know, discovering a correct or true or new reading of a novel like, say, Charles Dickens' Dombey and Son, that if we, if we found the true reading of that, we'd somehow find the solution to modern income inequality, right? We're not going to do that. But what we can do, if we collect enough of these responses, if we look at the ways in which um, the Victorians responded to the same issues that trouble us today, right? They're concerned with income inequality. They're concerned with financialization. They're concerned with economic instability. They're concerned with environmental catastrophe and empire. So they have answers. And I think if we collect enough of those answers, then none of them are correct, but we'll have a new perspective, a new set of tactics to look at our problems in the present. One of the great things about working here in this department is that so many of my colleagues are asking the same sorts of questions about the culture of our current moment. And so there's a lot of collaboration here. There's, there's a dynamic community that transcends traditional disciplinary or period boundaries. And whether that's in our graduate seminars, our department colloquia, our um, informal working groups, or our formal research clusters, we constantly challenge each other as teachers and students to rethink our assumptions. And I think that makes all of our research better and more lively.